Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my updated skincare routine and so today I'm going au naturel with absolutely no makeup on so I can talk you through my skincare routine. As you can see, I'm not in my usual filming room today, I'm in my bedroom because seeing how as I'm not filming a makeup tutorial and I don't need like a mirror and everything in front of me, I thought I would film on my bed instead. I am in the process of trying to make a beauty room where I have my like my desk and my vanity and my mirror and I can film in there full time and non-stop to make my life a little bit easier and to give like a little bit of a nice background so it's not so plain and boring. But for now, I'm going to film in my bedroom videos like this. So delving straight into my skincare routine and I'm starting with my cleansers. The first product that I have is the Olay 3 in 1 Regenerous Cleansing System. I'm not going to talk too much about this product because I've just done an in-depth review which I will link down below in case some of you guys want to check it out. But I love, love, love this product. It's a cleansing system, an electronic cleansing system. And I basically just use it with all of my cleansers just to give a really like deep clean and a slight exfoliate to my skin as well. Another thing I forgot to mention in my review video is this is also waterproof. So even though it's got the little battery pack at the bottom here, it is waterproof so you can take it in the shower and in the bath and that kind of thing, which I really like as well. So next I'm going to speak about some of the cleansers that I use with the Olay cleansing system and this is the Lizelle Hot Cloth Cleanser. As you can see I have chopped the bottle off so I can get everything out of it, I've literally scraped everything out of it and I really 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 love this cleanser. As I said it's a hot cloth cleanser so it has a creamy consistency, you rub it in all over your face and then you use a soft muslin cloth to wipe it off. If I had to pick my overall favourite skincare range, it would be the Lazil range, it's fantastic. When I was about kind of 13 or 14 and I had very like spot prone teenage skin, now I'm very dry and sensitive but then I was oily and I was quite prone to spots and uneven skin and that kind of thing. My mum bought me and my sister this and then probably after about two months my skin had cleared up, it worked fantastically for me. So I absolutely love this one, but another cleanser that is incredibly, incredibly similar is the Superdose Own Naturally Radiant Brightening Hot Cloth Cleanser. As you can probably tell, I absolutely love a hot cloth cleanser. I love the kind of thick, creamy consistency of them. I just think it feels really, really nice and moisturising on my skin. This one in particular is brightening. It awakens skin's natural glow and cleanses and gently exfoliates. This one has brightening kiwi fruit and mulberry extracts and nourishing cocoa butter. So I just use this one in exactly the same way as I use the Lazil one. There's not really a lot of difference between the two. They both do the exact same thing for me and I love them both. Next I have the Simple Kind Skin Vital Vitamin Foaming Cleanser. As you can see, I've not really used a lot of this product because I don't use it very often. This is my kind of go-to cleanser if I'm feeling like I need to use something a bit different on my face, if I've got used to other products and that kind of thing. Next up, I've got the Be Pure Micellar Water. I love micellar water and micellar water is what I call my like lazy clean. I'm not not cleaning my face, I'm still cleansing and that kind of thing, but I'm just not using my electronic cleanser or another kind of cleanser where I get that super super deep clean. So this one says quick and easy, 3 in 1 cleanser that dissolves impurities in a single sweep, no water required. Ideal for all skin types, even the most sensitive. I am a very sensitive person and I really really like this micellar water, it's really nice. I really, to be honest, don't find too much difference in micellar water. I've used the Garnier micellar water and I really, really like that. I just find that it's really good for a quick clean. What I'll do is I will first off take some uh, facial wipes. These are the cleansing facial wipes from Superdrug for sensitive skin. And I'll take all of my makeup off with one of these first. And then I'll take at least two to three cotton buds and I will douse them in the micellar water and then I'll wipe them across my face just to make sure that I get every scrap of makeup off. Next up, I've just got two eye makeup removers. The first one is the Simple Kind to Eyes Eye Makeup Remover Liquid and then these are the Simple Kind to Eyes Eye Makeup Remover Pads. So I don't really tend to reach these too often. I only used to do it when I've had really, really heavy eye makeup on. So if I filmed a tutorial where I've got like waterproof mascara, a massive winged eyeliner, loads of shadow and that kind of thing, I will get these bad boys out just to make sure that it's like easier to clean my face. If I'm going to go in with like my electronic cleansing system, I like to make sure that the majority of my makeup is off first and seeing as how I don't use that on my eyes, I like to make sure that my, that my eye makeup is completely removed. Next up is toners and the one I've been using most recently is the Superdrug Vitamin E Skincare Refreshing Tonic Mist. So this one is rich in natural vitamin E, it's high in antioxidants and defends the skin against environmental damage and it's for normal to dry skin. I love this toner because it's really good for my dry and sensitive skin, it's not harsh for my skin at all. Some toners I feel can kind of strip my skin but this one feels really really moisturising. 
Depending on how I'm feeling and what other products I've used in my skincare routine that day, I'll either hold it away from my face and spray about 4-5 to five sprays across my face, or I'll spray maybe about 10-12 to 12 sprays onto a little cotton pad and then I'll wipe that across my face. Next I've got the Neo Bay Natural and Organic Calming Face Toner. I've only used this two or three times so far because I've still got my vitamin E one going. I don't tend to have several toners going at one time because they all do the same thing for me so I like to use one up and then move on to my next one. But I just tried this one because I got it in my glossy box and one or two months before I received another Neo Bay product in my glossy box I actually love so I thought I would just try this one out really quickly to see how it went. So this one is just a calming soothing facial toner and 99.13% of the total ingredients are from a natural origin. If you guys watched my skincare video from last year with all the Lazar products you know how important it is to me to have natural skincare. I just find that it works best on my skin. And finally for toners I have the O Roma Toner Water by Lush. As you can see mine is a really worn bottle because I have had it for quite a while now and I've just purchased a big bottle of it because I love it so much. This aroma water says it is a kind aromatherapy water to cherish your face, a gentle tone of everyday use that will help hydrate the skin without causing it to overreact. So this one has lavender water in it which I love the smell of lavender but I also love the effects it has on my face, it's so calming and soothing and it's great for my redness around my cheeks as well. Oh, and then also I forgot the Lizelle Instant Boost Skin Tonic. This again is a toner, it's got aloe vera, candula, cucumber, rose scented geranium and natural source of vitamin E. So again, part of the Lizelle range, I absolutely love this. Next up I'm going to talk about moisturisers and this is my kind of everyday go-to moisturiser. It's not a special moisturiser, it is literally the Nivea Soft Refreshing Soft Moisturising Cream. It can be used on your body, it can be used on your face, it's just a generic moisturiser. This one also has jojoba oil and vitamin E. I have tried specific kind of day creams and night creams, but this is one that I just find works really, really well for my skin. It has a really thick consistency, which is great for when I have really dry skin days. I put it on and my skin just literally soaks it up. It's also great for if I've been wearing a lot of makeup that day. I take it off with a face wipe and my face sort of feels a bit sensitive and a bit dry. I'll put this on overnight and literally in the morning my face will be back to normal. Next up we have the Nukes Paris Mask Creme Fresh de Butte. I hope that's how you say it. And it is just a kind of hydrating mask. So it says on the bottle that it is a 24 hour soothing and rehydrating fresh mask de-thirsts and relaxes and it is for all skin types. So we got this one in my glossy box, I absolutely love it. It has a kind of creamy consistency but it's not too thick but not too thin either and what you do with it is you rub it in all over your face but I don't tend to completely rub it in, I tend to kind of leave like a slight layer on top of my skin and then let the rest sink in. And this one's absolutely amazing, I love it so much and it's just a really really good hydrating mask. Next up we have the Little Skin Repair Moisturiser in Dry Sensitive. You can get a normal combination and then an oily skin moisturiser as well. This one has got a slightly thicker consistency to it, but not too thick. I just really, really like it. I love the smell of it and it just makes my skin feel so silky soft and smooth. Next up we have the Bee Rescued Energising Balm, which this is the same brand as the micellar water that I use. And this is an amazing pick-me-up, instantly revised, tired, dull skin. Skin feels radiant, fresh and awake. This one definitely is a balm kind of texture. It's not like thick or sticky or anything like that. I just feel it's got a kind of tackier texture. And so I like to use this as a morning moisturiser. I think it smells really nice. It's got a very, very clean smell. It kind of smells like hotel soap. So you know those little soaps you get for free. I think it smells like one of those. So it smells really, really clean. But I like to use this one under my foundation in the morning just because like I say it has like a slightly thicker texture so I just feel like my foundation is going to stick to it a lot better. A friend who actually recommended this to me said that this to her felt more like a primer so you could use this as a primer on top of your regular morning moisturiser and then use this as a primer underneath your foundation as well. Next we have the Simple Kinda Skin Illuminating Radiance Cream. I like to use this one when my face is feeling a little bit dull and a little bit dry this one has got a quite a thick texture, it's white, but after you rub it in all of your skin, it kind of glistens and it's very, very similar to the L'Oreal Rimu Magique Primer. It's not a primer, but it gives the same kind of effect under your makeup in the day. And if you don't want to wear any makeup, then it just really kind of like awakens your skin and gives your skin like a really, really bright quality. 
This is light reflecting, which is why it gives that kind of like bright, luminous glow. It also has an SPF 15 in it. However, my only downside to this is that I don't find it super, super moisturising. It is moisturising, but for me with dry skin, when I'm having a really, really dry skin day, if I want that glow, I'll have to use a moisturiser and then this over top. Whereas if I'm kind of having like a not so dry skin day, I can use this as my moisturiser underneath. Next up are my eye moisturisers. The one I've been using at the minute is the Vitamin E Skincare Nourishing Eye Cream and this is the same brand as the Superdrug Vitamin E Skin Toner. Again, like the toner, this is high in antioxidants and defends the skin against environmental damage and it's for normal to dry skin. I really like this one because the Vitamin E in it is super, super nourishing. As I have very, very dry skin, I have a super dry under eye area so I really like a moisturising eye cream. I feel like I'm whizzing through all this super super quickly but I'm trying to get through everything to show you guys all of my skincare products otherwise I fear this video will be about two hours long. Moving on to oils, I'm going to start with the Monu Professional Skincare Soothing Hawaii Facial Treatment Oil. This has got grapeseed, sandalwood and lavender oils soothes, balances and hydrates and it's for normal combination skin types. When I first got this product I fell in love with it, I used it all the time. It's great for my skin, it's not super super oily but it's really nourishing and really really moisturising for my skin, like my skin just like soaks it up. Next is the Liz Earl Super Skin Concentrate Facial Oil Roller Ball. And this is again part of the Liz Earl range. This has got organic rosehip oil, argan oil, neroli oil and natural source of vitamin E to visibly plump and smooth. I love all those products. I love my vitamin E as you can tell from all of my skincare products that have got vitamin E in it. Neroli oil is fantastic. I used to love the, I think it's Declior Neroli oil that my mum used to get. It was absolutely amazing. And organic rosehip oil is great as well. And then we have the Pura Dior Argan Oil for body, hair and face. This argan oil is amazing, it works wonders on your skin. It does feel slightly greasier than the Monu one, but the next day after I've worn it the night before, my face just feels really plump, really smooth and really bright. I have done a review on the Pura Dior products. It's the Pura Dior argan oil and then their shampoo and conditioner. I did that on my channel a couple of months back, so I'll link that below as well. With my oils as well, I don't tend to use them in the morning before my foundation. I do once or twice, just if I want to kind of change it up a little bit, but I prefer to use my cream moisturisers in the morning, and then I'll use my oil moisturisers at night, just because I feel that they kind of like soak into my skin and leave a slight residue on, so I have to leave them on for longer and then wash off the excess in the morning. Next, I've got kind of face masks and peels and that kind of thing, and I'm going to start off with the Naobe Natural and Organic Moisturising Peeling. Excuse the look of this bottle, it has been in my shower, it is clean, but the lid is wood so it's stained and that kind of thing. But I absolutely love, love, love this product. Out of all the exfoliators and that kind of thing that I've tried, this is my absolute favourite. It's kind of a moisturising exfoliator. It's got the kind of cream cleanser consistency, but then with the tiny, tiny beads in to exfoliate as well. I personally feel that actually this is quite a harsh exfoliator. The little beads are quite gritty in it, but because of the moisturising kind of cream texture to it as well, it is really moisturising. So even though it's giving you a really good exfoliate, it's also really moisturising at the same time so it really does balance it out. The only only downside to this product is that the brand is Spanish and so when I went online to try and get it because I got this in my glossy box and I've literally run out now and I need to buy a new one but the site is Spanish and the shipping is so expensive so I might try and see if I can get it from any other suppliers or anything like that otherwise I might have to just pay the shipping fee because it is absolutely amazing. Next up I have the Body Shop Seaweed Iconic Clay Mask. I bought this not too long ago, I have used it a few times since, and this is to purify, cleanse and control excess oil. It is technically for combination slash oily skin, but I don't really mind that. It doesn't really say a lot about seaweed clay face masks on the pot, but I just know that when I went in there I really really wanted a kind of like clay face mask just to remove any dirt and impurities that's on my face. And finally, a product that I was super, super surprised that I wasn't expecting a lot from it, and this is the Superdrug Naturally Radiance Glycolic Overnight Peel. I saw this when I was shopping on Superdrug online, and it says it awakens skin's natural glow and improves skin tone and texture. The reason that I got it was because it said it improves skin tone and texture, and I really wanted to help with that little bit of just excess redness around my nose area. Again, I wasn't expecting a lot from it, but because I loved the hot cloth cleanser from the naturally rated range I thought this might be good to try. When it says an overnight peel I was kind of expecting like an acid peel not to that extent 
but I expected it to be a bit more like harsh in the morning and feel a bit more sensitive but it's actually absolutely amazing like I can't even tell that it's done something overnight I guess I expected to feel something the next morning like I expected my skin to feel different or anything like that but it just feels like brighter and more awake and more even it definitely is more even and so yeah I would highly recommend this to anyone it's super super cheap you only need a really really small amount use a pea sized amount and that does across your whole face it's got a very very liquidy gel type texture and it does kind of dry on your skin which kind of dehydrates my skin slightly overnight I would prefer it to be a bit more moisturizing but for the benefits that it has the next morning I don't mind being slightly drier overnight and then the other few face masks that I've been using, I've just used them up so I don't have them here on me, are the Love Lettuce face masks and the Mask of Magnamity from Lush. I love the Love Lettuce face mask, I think it's absolutely amazing for my skin. Again, it's got the lavender in, like the Odoroma water, which is perfect for soothing my skin. So I love it and it smells amazing. And then the Mask of Magnamity, I liked, but it kind of burnt my skin a little bit. I think the benefits didn't necessarily outweigh the process of it for me so I don't know if I'd be buying it again for other people who are kind of more spot prone and have kind of more blemishes and that kind of thing it would probably be more worth it but because I've got quite clear skin anyway it wasn't super worth it for me but I've recently bought two new face masks from Lush the first one is the I can't remember if it was the Otifix one or the Brazen Honey one I can't remember which one it was and then I also bought the, the new bright blue one the Don't Look At Me but I will be filming a haul of all my Lush products and like shopping trips I've done over the past kind of two weeks. That will be the video that goes before this one, so I'll link that down below and I will show you guys my new Lush products in there as well. So that is the end of my skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, it really helps me out. As I said, I will link all the products that I've mentioned down below and I will also link my Olay Regenerist Cleanser Review, my last year's skincare review and also my Lush Haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!